Hi, my name is Marco. I'm a former pro opera singer turned voice actor. Today we're going to be listening to The Measure of Our Reach from Final Fantasy XIV. I remember this song distinctly. I believe this is from Stormblood. We very much have this fanfare, militaristic sound, very nationalistic, very proud sound. So let's dive in. We obviously know what that sounds like. We we know that that sounds like a nationalistic anthem. We see we see marching soldiers. We see a gathering of of our mightiest weapons. We 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 understand what this sounds like. So I want to talk about the singing aspects of this, which I think are really cool. So the first section here is very. <laughs> It's all open throat, open mouth, letting her rip. And the harmony here, I, I, it feels like it's open fifths or something, but basically like, or, you know, octaves where there's a lot of, there's a lot of uh, that sound, the way it's written, there's a lot of pride and and fanfare and, and, and support of what, in this case, what the Garlean Empire is doing. They're, they're you know, ha, da, ha, da, da. And then two, if you listen, uh, I was only listening to the tenors because I'm a tenor and that's what we listen. We listen, always listen to our own voice type. And so that's written in a range that that's our sweet spot where it's not too low. It's not too high. That's in the middle register. And, and it allows us to just sort of sing very freely without getting too caught up in our own techniques. And, uh, and again, there's this open, warm sound that allows us to really let her rip. Let's keep going. You know, this is written in a in a very a very authentic classical way. If you listen to the lower the lower music, bum 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 bum, it resolves in a very like standard approach. This is extremely tonal. Bum bum bum, ba da 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 da. And so it's funny because. In the first section, we've got this huge fanfare, huge, very loud. Second section. It's a little bit more conserved. It's a little bit more uh, sotto voce, which means under the voice. We're holding back because as listeners, there is a moment when we sort of check out when it's kind of the same thing all the time. It's so funny too, because sometimes the singer will be absolutely incredible. The vocal process the vocal singing the vocalism is fantastic but if they're so good it almost is too perfect and so you you actually kind of sometimes tune out which i found so these these variations are ways that composers allow us to sort of tune in again and actually when things are quieter we as listeners go oh and we lean in we lean into that and we we pay more attention so imagine if that middle section there wasn't there it would be a lot more mm, sort of uninteresting
Every part of me wanted to go, come on! <laughs> it's, it's so interesting hearing every every country has a national anthem that that it evokes that sense of pride you know and that sense of honor for country and and uh let me tell you now of course that's this is different but singing the national anthem whether it's the italian national anthem or the united states of america national anthem oh my goodness the nerves there is nothing more scary than you're sitting backstage and you're like, oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early fratelli d'Italia, d'Italia, sedesa dell'elmoci di scipio e cinta. I mean, and the rock is red glare, the bombs bursting in air, go through, give proof, give proof, give proof. And then your brain goes, oh, oh. I've done it for a few basketball, I've done it for basketball games, I've done it for some baseball games, nothing major league or anything like that, but events where there's a bunch of Italian Americans or Italians that have emigrated to the United States and they ask for both the Italian and the American national anthem. And let me just tell you, I mean, the, the amount of stress and people are like, oh, it was great, you know, like, oh, go do that, it's so easy. It's not easy. There's not one single part of singing a national anthem that is easy. That's just a personal anecdote. But, you know, again, all this to say that this is all about that pride. And you really hear it. It's like beating your beating your chest, you know? I'm proud. I am proud to be a Garlean, you know, or whatever. I'm proud to be in, in whatever. For for Eorzea, you know, in a different setting. So it's it's interesting that they they took a traditional thing and turned it into a, a thing that exists in Final Fantasy. It's amazing. Anyway, that's it for me. Thank you so much for this Patreon request. Really enjoyed it. I love Final Fantasy fourteen. As always, thank you so much. If you want to support the channel, feel free to check out the links in the About section. Never a requirement, of course. Feel free to check out the Discord, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.